Haiti for Brady is inspired by a real group of five elderly New England women who were Tom Brady fans and called themselves the Over 80 for Brady Club. The movie is for fictional characters based on the real women. 80 for Brady ladies are the real women behind the movie are Betty Pensavelle, Elaine St. Martin, Claire Boardman, and two other friends Pat and Anita, who had been friends for over 70 years. The movie captures the friendship spirit similar to the real women. Real 80 for Brady women are the real women lived in North Attleboro, Massachusetts, located 45 minutes southeast of Boston, near the Rhode Island border. Real over 80 for Brady group of the real women formed their group after the death of their husbands and started gathering for game days to maintain their friendship. They took turns hosting each other at their homes. They were given the nickname over 80 for Brady for their frequent gatherings to cheer for the Patriots, though they didn't gather for night games. They were heard shouting at the TV, but not cursing. Betty's grandson created matching t-shirts for them. Real 80 for Brady women and Tom Brady of the real women admired Tom Brady. Betty Pensavel, 94, called him handsome, adorable, gorgeous. Elaine St. Martin also described him as really handsome. Real 80 for Brady women in Super Bowl of the real group never made it to the Super Bowl. Unlike in the movie where the four fictionalized characters go on a trip to Houston for Super Bowl lead, the movie's depiction of them making it to the game and even into the Patriots locker room was entirely made up. The only truth is the Patriots of victory in the game. Real 80 for Brady women in hot wing contest of the movie scene of the women participating in a hot wing eating contest emceed by Guy Fieri is not based on real events. Real 80 for Brady women in halftime show the real group never attended the Super Bowl, let alone posed as backup dancers during the halftime show, which is a fictional scene in the movie. Did real women meet Tom Brady or no? The five real women in the over 80 for Brady fan club never met Tom Brady in person. Despite watching the movie about their fan club, they haven't had the chance to meet the NFL star. What happened to the other real 80 for Brady women? Upon investigating the real story behind 80 for Brady, we discovered that at the release of the movie in February 2023, only Betty Pensavelle, a 94, and Elaine St. Martin, a 95, were still active members of the group. Pat and Anita were residing in assisted living facilities, and Claire Boardman had passed away. Betty said, Friends who stick together and help each other last. A CBS Sunday morning. The real women of the over 80 for Brady fan club, Betty and Elaine, initially felt her when Tom Brady joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Elaine confessed, I was angry and wanted to kill him. However, they have come to terms with his move and sometimes watch his games with the Buccaneers on a secondary TV to see how he's doing. The Sun Chronicle. The movie 80 for Brady was made after Betty Pensavelle's grandson, Max Gross, a talent agent in Hollywood, pitched the story of the over 80 for Brady fan club to production companies. Tom Brady learned about it through his company, 199 Productions, and eagerly signed on. He sent Betty a video message announcing his intentions to make a movie about the group. Betty was shocked and couldn't believe it was really Tom Brady, asking her grandson during a phone call if it was an impersonator. Yes. Tom Brady produced 80 for Brady, he co-developed the film with Donna G. Gliotti and Endeavor content. Brady himself only his small cameo role in the movie, which focuses on for senior women who are obsessed with him and set out to meet him at the Super Bowl. Brady's former Patriots teammates, including Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman, and Danny Amendolo, also make cameos in the film. According to Brady, he spent two days filming his part and gained new insights while on set. In a Paramount Pictures Beats clip for the movie, Brady called working with Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, Sally Field, and Rita Moreno a once-in-a-lifetime chance, and referred to them as the goats of their craft.